Apocalypse Diary, Day 9. Food, water, electric, heat, internet, all still okay. Not much to talk about today. It's been pretty uneventful. But I found a cool new anime on Hulu, or at least new to me because I haven't seen it before today. It's called Kochiki, and it appears to be telling a fairly faithful retelling of Nobunaga Oda's early days in the Warring States era of Japan. I say faithful, but, you know, it's an anime, so obviously things are going to be, you know, a little bit over-dramatized, but as far as I can tell from having done a moderate study of Nobunaga's life, uh, the dates, the people, and the events seem to be fairly accurate from what I can tell. I'm not an, exactly an expert, I would say, and I'm sure the real Japanese historians could tell you better than I could, but so far it's, uh, it's pretty good. Nobunaga's always been one of my, well, actually he has been the top favorite person from history as far as I was concerned, since he still to this day is such a, I guess, controversial character in history, because even, you know, what, close to like five, six hundred years later at this point, people are still not entirely sure what he was all about, whether he was a good guy or a bad guy. You know, he's pretty much known on all sides as the, uh, the Demon King, but, you know, demons in Japanese mythology seem to be treated a little bit different than demons in, like, Judeo-Christian mythology. So, I mean, yeah, people, people can't decide if he was, like, the best thing to ever happen to Japan or the worst thing to ever happen to Japan. To some people, he was, like, you know, the, the benevolent great ruler, and uh, <coughs> to some others, he was... Japanese Hitler. People still argue it to this day. He's a, he's a very interesting character, which is why he's probably my my favorite out of Jap like well, not just Japanese history, but all history pretty much. Just just a really cool, interesting guy to, you know, look into and study and all that. And uh, this anime, despite being an anime, seems to be doing a pretty good job at looking like at like his early childhood and his family relations and how he went about accumulating all of his power and stuff like that. It's uh, it's really cool. And it's in English. So, you know, that's good because I tend not to watch anime if they're, you know, not dubbed in English because normally I'm multitasking at the time, like playing a video game or, you know, doing chores or whatever, and I don't have the attention to spare reading all the subtitles and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's really about it. That's all I've got to talk about today. Kochiki on Hulu. Go watch it. I recommend it. I think I'm only a little less than halfway through the series, but it's been pretty good so far. So, uh, yeah. That'll, uh, that'll about do it for this super short apocalypse diary. So, thanks for watching, and, uh, see you tomorrow.